I'm Diadem Kev, and we're here today with our director of global tennis, Stephen Milo. Stephen, how are you feeling? Feeling great. Excited to talk about some uh, new stuff coming out the Technology Center in Pompano Beach, Florida. We're talking our Nova V3 rackets. These things are state-of-the-art technology. They're three years in the making, and they're the latest innovation in our tennis line that's really, I think, going to take this thing to the next level. Yeah, I'm fired up to talk about uh, the new technology that we've added, uh, so some new additions to the family of rackets, um, and yeah, let's, let's dive into it. Okay, I think the most important thing to understand with this new Nova V3 line is that there's five racket options that are a little bit different than our previous FS version. You wanna dive into that a little bit? Sure, in the, in the Nova V3 line, we have five different racket options. We have the Nova Lite, we have the Nova Team, we have the Nova 100, the Nova Tour, and the Nova Plus. In the Nova FS line, we had the Nova Lite, which is going to be closest in specs to the Nova V3 Team. Um, and we uh, have had the Nova 100, which is closest to the Nova FS 100. And then we also had the Nova V3 Plus, which is closest to the Nova FS Plus. The additions to this uh, current iteration of frames is we have added the Tour, which is a heavier option uh, for more high-level performance tennis players. But we've also added um, the Team. The Team is what the FS Lite used to be, but now the Lite is even lighter. We're reaching a wider audience of players that we're gonna be able to support from their first 27 inch frame through the highest level of tennis with the new Nova V3 line. Yeah, I love that. And let me just recap that real quick because there's a lot of information. So in this new Nova lineup, we're gonna have five frames. It's gonna start with the Nova Lite, which is I believe a 9.6. 9.6 ounces. So that's gonna be a great transitional racket for players that are going from a junior frame up to that 27 incher. And then we're gonna go with the Nova Team, which is actually similar to our FS Nova Lite, right? Correct. And then the standard Nova 100 is next, followed by the Nova Tour, which is new to this lineup and something that I think a lot of our high performance players are gonna like. Yeah, it's 11.1 uh, ounces, so it hits that a, a little heavier um, racket um, so that your stronger, more adult, more performance tennis players will um, will definitely gra gravitate towards. Um, we see a lot of our high performance college players and some of our professional players um, choosing the tour option. Yeah, that's perfect. And then we have the Nova Plus, just like our FS Plus that has the extended handle. Um, so that's another great option for players looking for that in their game. For sure. Um, let's talk a little bit about the technology that's in this new V3 version compared to the old FSs. Yeah. it's. Um, it's, it's really exciting to talk about. Um, so as we saw with the Elevate V3, uh, the addition of Craven, um, we've gotten incredible feedback from the addition of Craven in the Elevate. So uh, we strategically placed Craven in the three and the nine and in the throat so that we can maximize comfort while not sacrificing the power that the Nova line of frames is known for. Yeah, I think the, the Elevate is the V3 with the new Craven has been a great thing that we had this year. So adding it to the Nova, I think, will really just help with the feel, the stability, all those things, and make this an even better frame. Absolutely. Uh, next, we've actually uh, innovated our patent-pending FS technology. Um, so FS2 is the second iteration of that technology. Uh, we've added a secondary rib structure into the core of the frame, um, which will maximize stability with, while, again, not sacrificing the explosive power that the Nova line is known for. Yeah, I think that's an important point there, the explosive power. That's what the Nova is all about. And these technological advancements that we're adding here are just going to help with the comfort, with the stability, with the feel. But it's going to keep that power that everybody loves from the Nova. Yeah, the power that you know and love from the Nova line um, actually comes from the layup of the frame, but also the stiffness of the frame. So with a stiffness rating of, of 69, 
Um, it's, a, it's one of the stiffer frames you'll be able to find, and that's what's really gonna give you that explosive power that the Nova V3 um, is gonna uh, provide for players. I think this would be a great time to talk about the specs of each of these individual frames. I think also it's important to just mention that there's some similarities between all of them. First of all, 100 square inch head size. Second of all, 16 by 19 string pattern. Third of all, 69 stiffness. Absolutely. Um, now, diving into what's different about each frame, uh, the Nova Lite is the lightest of the, the Nova line. It comes in at 9.5 ounces and four points head light. Um, so that's gonna be the lightest option um, for those tennis players who are just transitioning from maybe your 26 inch frame that are trying to uh, have their first experience with a 27 inch frame, this is the perfect racket from that, for them. How about this next one, the team model? The Nova team uh, is a step up in weight, so it is now uh, 10.0 ounces. It is gonna be what the FS Nova Lite used to be. Um, and uh, to maximize the power and the comfort and the maneuverability, this is now six points headlight. Perfect, that's again, just like our current FS Nova Lite is the new Nova V3 team. What's next? Moving on, we've got the Nova 100. The Nova 100 is gonna be our standard model of the Nova, um, one of the most popular rackets that Diadem offers. Um, it is 10.6 ounces, um, and again, to maximize maneuverability, maximize the explosive power, this is now seven points headlight. Awesome. And then how about the next one, which is a new addition to our lineup here? Yeah, the new addition to the lineup here is the Nova V3 Tour. This is um, your uh, more performance-oriented racket. Um, it is going to be that 11.1 ounce frame. Um, and like you've, you might have noticed, the heavier we get, the more headlight we get. So it stays maneuverable. Um, so the Nova Tour is 12 points headlight. Um, it's going to be our heaviest and most headlight uh, racket that we offer. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to add the Tour to our lineup. It's a very successful frame in our Elevate family, so I think it's going to be a great one for all those high-performance players out there. And then lastly, we have the Plus. The Nova V3 Plus is our extended length frame. Um, it is a little bit heavier than the standard at 10.8 eight ounces, um, and for this one, since it is a little longer, um, it is five points headlight, so it stays maneuverable um, while not sacrificing the power and the extended reach that this racket offers. Yeah, I think the 27 and a half inch handle is a great one to have in the lineup for any players looking for that extra reach. Um, I think it might also be important to mention that there's a couple rackets that didn't make it into this V3 lineup from the FSs, those 105s and the 105 Ultralight. Correct. Um, I don't want to talk too much about that, but there's something in the works for all of you uh, 105 and oversized racket lovers. Yeah, so if that's you, don't worry. We have some plans there, and you'll get more information coming soon. I think for me, one of the most exciting things about this Nova V3 lineup is the fresh cosmetics that we have on these things. They look sharp, Steven. Can you talk a little bit about all of those different elements? Absolutely. So we've got a matte paint finish. Um, so it's that sleek, all black looking racket. But once you get a little bit closer um, and you get to hold it in your hands, inside the hoop, we actually have, um, it's a color changing uh, paint so that um, it will transition from a black to it has a sheen of teal, a sheen of purple, um, really evoking a lot of um, the characteristics that one would expect from a Nova is that sleek all black racket. And then that color changing technology that we have on the inside hoop, that is all correlated to the sun, right? And the way that it reflects off the... Yeah, the it, 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 uh, basically it'll be a different color based on the way that the light is hitting the frame. Um, so um, if you're outside, you're gonna see blues, purples. Um, it's gonna look different depending on what light you're looking. Into. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited to go test that out in some different environments and see how it looks. 
Absolutely. How about um, the other cosmetic elements like the big Nova and the diadem on the side? I think those are cool too. Yeah, so we wanted to keep the racket as sleek as possible um, with a little hint of, of the loud that one can expect from diadem. So as you see here, diadem is written huge across the side um, in our flagship teal. Um, and we've actually impro improved the, the branding of the Nova uh, to a new updated logo, um, which you'll be also able to find in really big but subtle uh, print on the side of the frame. Yeah, I mean, I think this thing's really sharp, and I'm excited to see it out on the court with all of our players using it in 2024. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and learning a little bit more about our new Nova V3 lineup. I'm excited to see these get in players' hands and make an impact for them on the court. What about you, Steven? I'm excited to see them all over the world. Uh, make sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and comment if you have any questions about the Nova V3 racket. Yeah, and make sure you guys are staying tuned because we have a lot more exciting things coming in 2024. I'm Diadem Kev. This is Steven Milo. And we're out of here, guys.